What's brappin', my fellow Nitro heads? What we're looking at today is my very first RC car. This is my Red Cat Tornado S30 that started it all. Um, I kind of, you, you may or may not know, I kind of retired this thing a while back. Um, you know, I had, I had this for many years, um, completely rebuilt it, completely tore it apart, uh, replaced a bunch of things on it, made it better. And I got my HPI Savage, um, absolutely love that thing. Oh, by the way, guys, I just saw yesterday morning that HPI have a new owner. I'll throw a, I'll throw a little, uh, link on the screen so you guys can see. Or not link it. A screenshot. Um, then I got my low C8. This tornado here has been sitting in the corner, neglected. I haven't ran it for a while. It's been like a year and a half. Like, pro probably more than that. Like, this hasn't been my main RC in a very long time. I just drove it every once in a while. And then I put this thing to the side. And that was it. It just sat there. And so today I thought I would get it running, maybe drive it. Um, but the main thing is I can't really get it started because the one-way bearing's slipping. Every once in a while, hear that? It's not gripping all the time, so it's going to be a pain in the arse to start. So let's uh, work on that first. Um, there's many ways to get this off. Uh, you have to get the pull start off to get to the one-way bearing. So you can take the rear clip off. You can unbolt the motor. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm probably going to try to possibly get into those screws back here and just take the pull start off. Because I don't really feel like taking the motor out because half the screws are stripped. Which probably isn't good. Um, by the way, if you guys want a video on all the things I've done to this, let me know, because as you can see, there's a lot of things I've done to this thing, like, tons of things. That's not even the stock motor. This car's had, like, three, four motors gone through it. Um, it's had lots of stuff done. So, anyway, let's get cracking on the motor. why I didn't like wrenching on this thing. So, yeah, you can undo these four motor mount screws, but like I said, they're, uh, the threads are stripped. Then I thought, well, maybe I can do these four to on each side. But of course, on the other side, since it's a, since it's a side exhaust, you have to take the header off, so I thought, no, I'm not doing that. So then what I did was I took the two shocks off the shock tower. I have just enough room to get to the pull start. So, let me see if I can right here. Oh no, this is a tight fit. demon one-way bearing as you can see there's like all kinds of dirt and crap on it so what I recommend you guys do with your one-way bearings spray them with brake clean see this is brake clean spray it blow it off the rag do the same thing with the starting shaft in right here uh, the tire's probably in the way See the starting shaft right there. Wipe it down with brake clean. And then, if you want, 
This will help it grip. Scuff it with some sandpaper. Just the end there. Just the end. Scuff it. Now uh, add some grip. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna blow this thing off with some uh, air and breaking. Look at all the crap that was on the starting shaft. And one last thing about the one-way bearing. Make sure you note the direction of it, because as in the name, one-way bearing, this bearing only locks in one direction. So if you put it in the wrong way, then your pull start's not gonna work. You're not gonna turn your engine over. So just thought I'd note that. Back together. And as you can see, pull start works. Uh, two out of three pull start screws are stripped. The threads are stripped. Am I worried about it? Meh, it'll be fine. Uh, I don't miss this thing. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna put any batteries. In the car, I'm just gonna put some fuel in the tank, preheat the motor, see if it'll run. Okay, let's see what this POS can do. Don't want prime, that's a great sign. All right, let's see what it will do. No way. Why it doesn't want prime? There's a uh, air leak somewhere. I'm surprised it fired up that quick. Let's see if I can do it again, one-handed. Oh, yeah, it doesn't want to go now. Oh well. I'm surprised that fired up like that. Huh? Maybe I'll try patching the air leak, put some batteries in it. We'll take the POS for a drive. Right. The air leak, I think uh, the exhaust bolts were a little loose. <laughs> eh, it's a little better. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, I'll uh, find some batteries to put in this thing, and we'll take it for Let's see if we can get this thing running again. Electronics work still. Whoa, whoa.
let's put you guys like right here or something. All right, it's POS going again. Sounds like the uh, rear diff is out. It's just front wheel drive. It a little rich. Got no brakes on this thing. It's no fuel now. Is that all she wants to do for us? Oh, come on, you piece of junk. Put on a show for us. It also looks like the exhaust gas gets blown out. It's just spraying fuel everywhere. But I'm not too worried about it. Still too low. I just want to run it until it runs out of fuel because I don't want fuel sitting in the tank. Because who knows next time I'll run it. <laughs>
all she's got for us. That's all she wants to do. There we have it. For this engine, by the way, that's the Go Point Twenty, I think, CXP, something like that.